Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Another beautiful day. <laughs> Morning has come. What should I do today? Free time. All right, let's go. Yeah. So I guess what I want to, so I guess like my, my whole objective is to walk around, oh hello, walk around, try to find as many coins as I can, and then like, uh, use them to do the, the gashapon and, uh, get presents for people. So I have the, um, the Lolita bunny thing, so I'm going to try and find Celeste, because I feel like that's, you know, something that she would like. I'm going to hang out with Celeste, also because I just like Celeste. So if I could find Celeste. Okay, Toko's in her room. He's in the boys' bathroom. Oh, she's in the main hall. Okay. I'm gonna go there then. Alright. Alright, Celeste. Should I should I walk around and like look for other things or should I just hang out with the person that I'm supposed to for the day? You know what I mean? Can I can I get any more coins from things I've already interacted with? You know what I mean? Like can I Maybe not. I'm going to leave. I'm going to I'm going to go try and find maybe uh, I don't know. Uh what, can can someone help me with this? I want to know. There's a better way to get coins later. So, so should I just hang out with the person that I that I that I want to hang out with, or should I do anything else beforehand? Okay, cool. All right, Celeste, what's up? How are you? Ah, Makoto, how are you? Should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Yeah. Indeed. Would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> I wonder- I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. What? Oh, yeah, she's a gambler. Celeste gave me the business. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Yeah. Let's give her the- let's give her the bunny, uh... The bunny headband. Or the bunny earmuffs. Yeah. No, thank you. I am the type of person who cannot decline a gift. I have no choice to accept with. But I want to stress it is only because of my sense of duty. Does that mean she liked it? <laughs> oh, so she didn't... Did she not like it? <laughs> my perfect gambling strategy. Is that really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about being about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is that power is luck. Luck. Actually, there are only two types of luck: good and bad. There is no in between, and that luck is built into every human at the moment of concession, like a like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is luck is life. Well. You see what I'm saying? You mean it's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I have never lost. That's all there is to it? You are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Hmm, well then, I hope you have a good day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. I'd say my life's been a bit more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. Hey. Oh, hey, skill points. Nice. Okay. Is it nighttime now? Oh, it's daytime. Oh, so I have more free time? Alright. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's hang out with... What, what do I have? So did she not like the... Did she not like what I gave her? <laughs> She's a hundred pounds. Why did they? Why did they make her, her chest, <laughs> chest size? Oh, so she gives you certain skills. I see. So when you befriend people, they give you certain skills. Okay. 
Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna hang out with uh, Sakura. But what is her? What is her? Uh, her item, or what is something that she would like? Or let's see if we have anything that someone might like. Oh, maybe maybe she'd like this because it's like workout stuff, you know. Hmm. 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 Okay, so she did, she liked that. Let's see. Oh. Rose means passionate love. Hmm. Oh. Female fanfic fans. All right, I know who I'm, I know who I'm gonna hang out with today then. <laughs> as much as I don't want to, I see the word fanfic and I know exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, where is he? Where is he? There he is. He's in the uh, laundry. I hate this dude so much, but I have to hang out with him. Oh, is it okay? Well, I mean, hey, I still want to give them the. Oh, so should I just, should I save my good items then? Should I just give them anything? Actually, let's hang out with Junka. J Junka? Junko. Hi, Hi Mikado. M Mikado. Makoto. The fuck, I can't talk. Slacking off again, huh? Yeah, let's spend some time with Junko. Hmm. Yeah, I'm bored too. Yeah. Okay, right. So, should I save my... Should I save the items that, like, I quote-unquote know are for what character? <laughs> yeah. I'll give her a present. Let's give her... Let's give her the salt. <laughs> yeah, let's give her salt. For real? Damn, Lakota, you've got pretty good taste. Does that mean she liked it? Listen, I want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me. Yeah. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? Huh? Wait, you mean, no, I'm not accepting anything like that. Come on. I figured. You're not that kind of guy, right? Looking at you, I get a total Omega feel. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But still, they say even the tamest guy can turn into a wild animal, so I figured I'd say it anyway. A wild animal? Mm. Don't ask me why, but I, l I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because she's so, uh, flashy. The? They call me up super late at night like, Hey, let's hang. Like, I don't know what that means. Let's hang sounds so simple. But why is super late at night? Why does Shanko seem annoyed at hang out? Uh, uh no, forget it. Anyway, so we all get together, but the whole group's full of dumbasses. Keeping, keeping creepos like that away is a full-time job, you know? Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so you must be really popular. Mm -hmm. Wow, Makoto, you actually get it. <laughs> you do get it, right? You totally get me. I do. Totally. Listen, maybe I can in introduce you to some of my friends sometimes. So what's your type? You're super passive-aggressive, right? So you need an aggressive girl. Yeah, I think that'd be good for you. Someone who'd go after you and never not give up. No, I don't really. Yeah. I'll find the perfect girl for you as soon as you get out of here. <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am. I don't really get it, but I guess she likes hanging out with me. Hey, 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 Junko. All right, it's nighttime. That was a good day. I wonder when somebody's gonna fucking die. <laughs> Ding dong, bing bong. You know what time it is. It's nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Hmm. <coughs> Soon the doors to the open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it, Monokuma. The third day is already coming to me. When will I? No, we. When are we going to get out of here? <laughs> I want, like, I know people fucking die in this game. Oh, Monokuma theater time. Hell yeah. Race car. I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving into regret. What do you think guides this world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. 
Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. I can't believe Monokuma is fucking a homophobe. Now kidding. Drive through is better than a sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard Which is world. Why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, 0 0.000002 seconds later. <laughs> call out post from Monokuma. Fucking straight's better than all the rest. Are you kidding me? Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet another. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ugh. Another night of rest of sleep. Day after day, I can feel the p fatigue piling up. As soon as, I, as soon as that thought crossed my mind, ding dong, the sound of a doorbell forced its way into my room. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna interact with some things. I might get some coins. Maybe. I don't know if that's how it works, but we'll see. Maybe not. Oh, I should save, actually. Hold on. Let me save. Save. Okay. Yes, I wish to overwrite. Thank you. Okay. Man, saving is quick in this game. Oops. All right, let's go. Who's at the door? A fantastic morning, isn't it? T Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption, without warning for reply, talk a barge into my room. What the fuck, dude? Hello? Oh. Talk to him. <laughs> What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may patter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Uh, I'm not sure I understand. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how I can overcome any storm! I was thinking about last night, and I decided we all really need to come together. That's point when I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And, and now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That's all for now. I have to let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a single thing. Well, I guess it's better- well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. Okay, let's go. Map. Oh. Can I really not? Oh, dining hall. I'll teleport here. Uh. What's up, Toko? Um, Toko? What's your per I guess I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I know, I just need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't like that. I do not like that. I don't trust. I do not trust her. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Alright, Taka. Oh my god, I can talk to literally everybody. Let's just talk to, uh... Let's talk to Taka first. Listen to me. Okay, looks like everyone's here. So let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making your time and your busy schedules to come together. Oh, is that girl here? No, it's, she's not here. Give me a break. I didn't make time for shit. You dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it's essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is the breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. I like I like the the art where they're like looking at different angles than just straight on. They look good. So from now on, let's all meet in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before, I'm not sure. I mean, seriously. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. Oh, more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? seriously? Nothing at all? Hey. Anything. It could be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? 
Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability, did I not say so? So you better hurry up and adapt your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, what? sounds like a girl sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. Yeah, pick made that. Hold on one second, actually. I'm gonna uh look at something real quick. I wanna look I wanna look at the stream on my phone and see uh how it's looking. I'm just curious to see how it looks. But shit. Piece of shit. No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. Mm hmm sure feel three feel free okay so nobody has any clues one thing i can tell you is that who's behind all this someone who's totally weird and messed up why else would we want to be trapped here in the first place hey, well sure it could be something like that but for right now actual clues are uh, um, um uh, what's up okay stream looks good oh man it's streaming at uh, 1080p. I never stream at 1080p. I'll have to change that back once I switch to something else. I think I think I switched it over for something. Usually I'm, I stream at 720, but for, I guess I guess it's fine for this game to stream at 1080p because it's not a very, you know, uh, m monumental game in terms of computing power. So just someone remind me once I switch to another game or stream again that I actually, uh, you know. Uh, do, you know, change um. 720. If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal, bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for this could be a certain murderous friend? Fiend? Wait, who? A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some head idea who might be out behind mm. all this? Well, maybe. I mean, I can't be really certain, but <laughs> certainly is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Oh, okay. Well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust is left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is is like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet they started calling him Genocide Jack. That all about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just urban legend though, right? I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. Anyway, whoever Je Genocide Jack is, he's obviously some sort of super crazy serial killer. And even if he is his ultimate psycho, I wouldn't want- I wouldn't be surprised if he put something together like this too. But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're a killer, isn't, the, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt gonna be okay. Cause Help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Huh? H help? We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. Uh-oh. The police? You're putting faith in the police? Bastard. What are you doing here? You guys. Do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being foil, paying, playing against a villain or anti-hero or an evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and this shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> Are you sure you really want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. Ha <laughs> ha! What the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? Hello? I'm just impressed with the total commitment of this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about all that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We all know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, we'll just go away. You son of a hey, bitch. don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. The thought of all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say. You, there's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Oh, that's him. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it. 
Wait, I think yes. Ding, ding, ding. I figured it out. In other words, all the mystery ingredients are here. Right, people. Right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What? What are you? If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, oh, but don't worry. Exciting. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's some special video for each of us showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? Hell. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it to find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. Before we do that, I'd like to know. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Despair. That's all. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try to stop you. Because to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search, search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um, He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Right? Really? I think we all learned something very useful. He has no intention in standing in our way of pursuit of the truth. However. Interesting. Perhaps. But what is that video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so Mondo started glancing around the dining hall, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Makoto, check this out for you, won't you? Huh? Why me? Because Yo. you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus. Hey, 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 Jesus hey, shit. hey! Stop you see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Uh, okay, I guess Hell I'll get yeah. going then. Awesome. Thanks. I'll owe you hey, one. Um if Makoto's going, then I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're both counting on both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Oh, great. Um. I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'll have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, what's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place to set up watch DVDs, then... I know exactly where to fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> it's the AV hall. That's not where it is. Where is it? AV, here we go. Oh, there's a box. Ah! Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. Each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us you mentioned. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed all of my awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. Should I do it? Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play those DVDs real quick. So I sorted through the DVDs and I found the box and the one found the one with my name on it. Then I slid into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then uh oh. Oh god. <gasps> ah I yelled out without realizing it and my heart started racing. Because of what I saw on the monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended here, it would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope Speak, it wouldn't have give, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, it would have been motivated to do better. But here now, it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Uh-oh. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looked like a war zone or something. 
As if for reply, a voice came floating out in the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi, accepted into Hope Speak Academy, and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Oh my god, are you kidding me? So they're like bribing us with like horrible things that happened to make us want to kill. I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. How else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everything's safe. Bakoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like? Is it what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What is? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they rushed to to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? What the fuck? This can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey. Yeah, no way it's real. Uh, no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered to hide their fear and confusions. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. So this is what they meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each yes, other. Indeed. It's the classic prisoner's d dilemma. Mm -hmm. Huh? Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, both, but both countries want peace and each commits to scaling their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other so the country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces and they end up both betraying each other. In other words, they fear the invisible treachery that becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together but in our hearts we're afraid someone might betray us. Don't push those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe they don't- maybe you're just thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just- What is this? What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever is behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We need to all calm down. So then. Okay then, maybe we should all start by just talking. Maybe if we all talk about what we saw, that'll help us get everything out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. They'd be lying- I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and t tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. Then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? Why don't we all... We don't all have to stick together, don't we? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Oh, I should talk to everybody. What was in your video, Taka? I saw... Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it in words. What about you? Hey, Makoto, these videos are kind of some kind of hoax, right? Right? I want to think so, but what the hell, man? This is all some big lie. It has to be. <laughs> uh. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? Why? How can something like that even exist? I just don't understand. I don't. To be able to do something like that, is it because they really are the murderous fiend? All right, Sakura, what's up? What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? What about you? What was in your video, Hifumi? Um, mm, so Before you go asking somebody else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. I don't want to hear yours. Yours. I don't have to say mine. If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works. 
What was in your video, Kyoko? Wow. Why should I tell you? Alright, let's go. Yes, let's leave the area. Where could she have gone? She couldn't have gone far. I should check around the school. Let me check the uh, gym. She likes the gym, so... Oh, it's down here. Gym time! She's probably in the gym, right? It's where, where we went last time. Nope, there's Junko. Hey, Junko. But more important, hey, Makoto, aren't you, like, super curious what's in everyone else's videos? I mean, I can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> right? I could totally tell. But does that mean you're going to tell me what's in yours? Uh, who knows? It all depends on what kind of mood I'm in, you know? I don't think she's going to tell me. Is she in here? No. Okay, let's see if I can find her on the map. So they're up there. Nobody else is here. Okay, there's where she is. He's in the main hall. The AV room is everyone else. I guess I'm not probably not going to be able to find them, huh? If I don't, like, look. Where is she? Well, let's just check everywhere then, I guess, huh? How's was waiting. Yeah, that's alright. Let's check. Oh, let's check the classroom. Oh, let's check in, let's check in the main hall. Maybe she's in the main hall with, uh, whatever. Hey, Mr. the Murdoch, what's up? Leon is here. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, and that's all there is to it. What? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. No way, hell no, no way in hell. You... You're just acting all nice so we tell you what you want to hear. You can't fool what me. The hell? Damn it, how the hell did they get footage of that? Right, looks like she's not in here. I don't know where she is. How are you, Mr. the Murdoch? Oh, jeez, you scared me. Oh, my God. Um... Where'd Sakaya run off to? Sayaka? Anyway, the video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. I mean... But it's fake, right? It's It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but if it was real... Maybe she's in this store? I'm great. She's playing some Danganronpa. <laughs> Not surprising. Okay, nobody's in here. Can I do some Gashapot? <laughs> it's like, oh, we gotta find Siaka. Let me just spend my time playing a little game first. Let's do it. What am I gonna get? Oh, I got some. Sweet. Oh man, nice. Pizza sounds good. Yeah, it's fun. This is my first time ever playing any kind of Danganronpa game, so like, I'm having a blast. This is really fun. Uh, one of my uh, friends, and probably watching the stream right now, uh, bought it for me, which was very nice. Or gifted it to me, I suppose. Maybe she's in here. Probably not, though. Yeah, that's Monokuma's room. Maybe she's in the classroom? Yeah, I picked cast, but uh, gave it to me. Oh, the music stopped. Yeah, there she is. Ah, I got it. First try. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or... No, she didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. If it was her original mask had been stripped away. S Sayaka, are you okay? <gasps> Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no, how can I possibly be fine? What do we do to end up like this? It was only a kiss. Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out! Let me out of here right now! Siaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. I understand. Yeah, the, I, I love the story and the character so far. It's, it's really, really good. I love it. I know how you feel right now. When I think that it might when I think what might have happened to my family. But now, but now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. 
Think about it, those videos have to be fake because of those things that really happened. People out there would be in an uproar. Our, fa our families, the police, everyone, right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that have been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a help way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. Oh, excuse me. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Aww. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <gasps> Uh oh. Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I, can I believe what you said? Huh? That you said that you'd help me get out, no matter what it takes. Uh, absolutely. Makoto. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust. No so please, happens, no matter what happens. Oh. Be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Oh. Uh, I know what's gonna happen. She's, she's like, please, you know, be on my side for whatever happens. And then she's just gonna, she's gonna fucking kill somebody. No matter what happens, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep I... going. I can get through this as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. She's gonna kill somebody. So they, so like, so they can escape. Or she can escape at least. It felt a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement on how she was before. It's standing up! <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing up? Come on. Oh my god. Do you even have to ask? Your flagpole! Get the hell out of here! Just a minute. No, no, I want to join in! Damn it, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Ah, oh, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out. My pristine, pure white yeah! stuffing! My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled up my fist, balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I can. Hey, Dennis. I never put so much energy into single motion before in my life. I leaned back, chilling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Gua! Are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, you are slow, 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 slow. I could have downed I could have downed a thousand dollar four course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um, what the heck was that just now? He wanted he just wanted to mess uh, with us. Um, well for now, you you wanna head back? Yeah. She's definitely gonna kill somebody. I guarantee you. Either either she's gonna kill somebody or she's gonna die. Also, please don't spoil this game for me, I have to say. <laughs> I'm not saying anyone did. I, I want to keep this game spoiler-free as best as possible. You should get some rest, Ayaka. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. She's going to kill someone. Oh, yeah, I can make you a mod. I think I could just do this. Is it is it slash mod or is it exclamation point mod? It's probably slash mod. Right? I don't know how to mod people. I think it's slash mod. Poke. You poking me? I'll try. It'd be kind of embarrassing if it's not, but... I almost said slash poke. Oops. Yep. All right, you're a mod now. Thanks, Pig. I appreciate it. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. Man, I was going to do some shiny hunting today, but honestly, this is way more fun. <laughs> and well, not way more fun, but like, I don't want to stop playing. I don't want to like, you know, I want to know what happens. 
Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. <laughs> I would squeak if you poked me. There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That's what I saw in- that's- Yeah, I can't talk. That what I saw in the video might be real. Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problems? I don't want to get out of here. No, Streamlab is uh, free. Actually, uh, speaking of, if you want to download Streamlabs, uh, I would, uh, in, in one of my uh, panels below, there's a link to Streamlabs. And if you download Streamlabs from that link, uh, and you start doing Streamlabs and you start, like, It wasn't? Wait, it wasn't free? It shouldn't be free. Or it should be free. I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Wait, so what happened? Uh, I've seen some of the characters, and I know a few of, like, the, uh, you know, the other, the other characters from some of the other games. I, I, I've, I don't really know, uh, anything, anything about this game, really. I just know some of the characters. Yeah, like Kameda. I know Kameda just because of all the fucking memes, like fingers in his ass and all that shit. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anybody else really. I know Junko. I knew Junko going into this. I didn't know any of the, any of the other characters. I knew Sakura because I knew she was like, uh, you know, she's the buff. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Oh boy, some some something's gonna happen. Ding dong. Huh? Uh oh. Oh yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to learn about like the plot twists and stuff. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Uh oh. It's Sakaya! Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? I keep saying Sakaya. It's Sayaka. Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's what I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Oh, she, she, she fucking killed someone. I know it. I know it. She fucking killed someone. Something weird? Makoto. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. I am from uh, Florida. That's all I'm going to say, obviously. Uh, I stream every other day, pretty much. Uh, weekends are a little weird. Sometimes I'll stream, like... No normally what I do now is I stream from, uh, like, Monday. I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then sometimes I'll stream on... Uh... Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, sometimes I'll stream on uh, Saturday. Uh, I never really stream on Sunday. But Saturday, if I, if I do stream on the weekend, I'll stream on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I stream like every other day. I try to at least sometimes life gets in the way. Of course, you know, it's I'm not like super uh, You know, I don't have like the biggest foundation on when I stream like sometimes stuff happens that I'm not gonna be able to uh, but you know All of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs Oh, actually considering there's a pretty good amount of viewers here. I wanted to say uh, I'll make an announcement in the discord uh, when the time comes but my mom is going down for a very, very intense uh, surgery in the next few days. I believe she's going in for the surgery on Tuesday. And then in the next two weeks or so, I'm going to have to take care of her because she's not going to be able to, like, you know, do a lot of stuff. She's going to be fine. Uh, but during that time, I might, I'm probably not going to be able to stream all that much. And if I do stream, it'll probably be very late at night because, like, 
during the day she's going to need help, but, like, during the nighttime when she's just relaxing and maybe going to sleep, I can stream then. So, like, for the next two weeks, I'm either going to be streaming not as often, or if I do stream, it'll be probably either later at night or in the morning, like, before she wakes up, because I'm going to have to take care of her and do, do stuff around the house, take care of the dogs, all that kind of stuff. I said dogs like I have more than one. I only have one dog. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll make an announcement in the Discord, but that just remember that for the for the days upcoming because i usually stream pretty often but i might be kind of wish-washy in the next few in the next few weeks or so yeah i'll update everyone on how it goes and stuff it's not a big deal her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of the lungs okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna uh focus on this because there's a big plot point going on here at least i think so at least just hearing her talk made me tense up i was so scared it was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked so they couldn't get in, of course, but they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by. I got up and opened the door to check outside, but there was nobody there. Excuse me. Someone tried to force their way into your room, but who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of everyone here, but it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle, in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, you can't go outside during that time. But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, th then why don't you stay in my room tonight? That would make, wouldn't that make you feel a little better? Huh? Are they allowed to stay in other people's rooms? All it said in the school regulations that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is, you know... Uh, oh geez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, it didn't even cross my mind. Um, no, I know. Me neither. It's not like... It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? I if it'll help you put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Okay, we, such, so we already know this. The dining hall. Okay, then. Sweet Good night. Um, oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. If we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. <laughs> That's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again. Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh right, he was thinking that. Huh? Aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness. It looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. I uh, I don't I don't know if I trust her. There was another worried expression there. Um, Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Siaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift the door when you try to pull it out. It doesn't look, doesn't look like the door opens from the outside because of the way the door frame is, but whatever. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Siaka. Oh, and about what I said before... When I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure nobody's around to spot me, I rush into Siaka's room. Uh-oh. So this is Siaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. Alright, well, let's check out the room, I guess. Be a fucking creep. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't really help. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was on her video. It's probably best until I wait, up, wait until she brings it up again. Oh, boy. A surveillance camera. A surveillance camera. It makes sense there'd be one in here. A room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit, just like the note said, and next to it is a map of the body's vital organs. Yikes. 
This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. I guess it shouldn't be so- oh, yeah. Erg. If I remember, all the girls from the bathroom is locks. I'm a little reluctant to go in. I didn't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered... Oh, you got the... So what happened? Oh, shit. As I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. That's... That's...